That's correct. Oh, it's hey, thanks for clicking on my topic of Social Security. The Social Security Act was passed by Congress in 1935, which had the government help the disabled or elderly. On August 15, 1935, President Roosevelt the Social Security Act into a law. Social Security was implemented to slow down the rate of elderly poverty, which was above 50% at the time Social Security was enacted. On June 30, 1936, the sum of $49,750,000 was set aside for the people on the program, and the amount would be changed based upon how the times change, how many people are on the system, and how prices change for the necessary things a person needs to survive. Unlike European forms of Social Security, Social Security was paid in part by the American people in forms of taxes and employer payroll instead of being directly funded by the government. In the first four decades of Social Security, programs were, in general, ones of expansion. In fact, the program was expanded even before it came, became truly operational. In 1935, amendments added child, spouse, and survivor benefits to, re to the retirement benefits authorized by the 1935 Act. The 1950s were a transformational decade in the program's history. Benefits were, benefit amounts were increased substantially, coverage under the program became close to universal, and new disability insurance benefits were offered. In the 1960s, health care was added to the Social Security Act with the passing of the Medicare program in 1965. But in the 1970s, there were great change to the way people thought of the act. People were less concerned about the program's growth and more concerned about the expensive that expenses that the program would cost them. To combat the declining financial outlook, in 1977, Congress passed and Carter signed legislation fixing the double indexing mistake, but this failed, and by the 1980s, the system was in trouble again. In the 1980s, the National Commission on Social Security was for Reform was founded to investigate what the long run for Social Security would look like, proposed by taxes based upon higher income participants. And that's the last major change that was made to Social Security. That's how the program has changed over the years. Now let's go into how people were affected and are still affected by the program. In, 19, in 2012, around 15 million people were, were on Social Security system and the system is supporting upwards of 9 million jobs and millions of dollars in economic output. So Social Security is helping our government because it is pumping out money to help our economy. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to help learn about more of the Social Security aspects of the 1930s, click here. If you want to learn about the economic aspects, click here. If you want to learn about the political aspects, click here. And if you want to learn more about the arts, click here. All right, well. All right, so I finished my